Welcome back, Pillies and Gentle Colts, to a Brony Plays Minecraft. I'm here today, joined by a, a good friend off in that direction up there, uh, Blaskowitz53. What's, what's up? up? Yeah, what's up? He's from D&D. Basically. We do stuff. Now you'll notice he's not down here right now, because he's off um, doing something. I... It's really far away, too. I can't even see his waypoint. Doesn't matter. We're going to build something. And then we're going to see what he's doing. Actually, part of this episode is... Ha 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 ha. Sneaky. Anyways, what are we building? We are going to build this thingamajigger here. Also, as a little treat to you guys, this is done live as a not in post-production, but we're going to build this industrial blast furnace. Do diggy do do furnace. To do this, we're going to need some induction furnaces. Uh, some advanced machine thingamajiggers, and these cupro nickel heating coils. It's a cheap and simple heating coil for all your heating coil needs. Now, the cupro nickel heating coils are awfully nice and simple to make. I'm just need some copper and ferrous and or nickel ingots. Now, those might sound tricky, but you get a lot of nickel just by, like, pulverizing iron, so no problem. No problem at all. So we're going to take, I think we need eight of those. We're going to take eight of these coppers. We need the rest for other things. Eight. And we'll just set them in the rolling machine. Ah, I had some rails in there. Who knew? And we can craft those up. There we go, that should craft. And in the meantime, we're going to make ourselves some advanced machine blocks. Like so. Now, I've already gone ahead and made the advanced alloy. I made my alloy with brass, invar, and a, uh, a little bit of some other stuff. Whatever it was. Hmm, aluminum, that's it. Brass, invar, and aluminum. We're going to need these iron furnaces. We need to turn them into electric furnaces, like so. There we go. And now we can use the electric furnaces to make them into induction furnaces. We'll keep one of those behind and surround the whole thing with copper. Now, if this were, you know, if we were keeping these things, these induction furnaces are really, really good furnaces. Like, really, really good. So, we've got the powered furnace right now. Some brick in there. We're saving that for later. And the power furnace works off of the build craft energy, but the induction furnace works off industrial craft energy. And I think, but I'm not sure, I think it might be a little faster than the powered furnace since it does use the advanced machine blocks. So if you like induction-y things, it's, it's an option. The induction smelter, it's probably similar to that, but uh, it doesn't need sand. But since we, we have a lot more buildcraft energy than industrial craft energy, even with the nuclear reactor, yeah, we're sticking with that. Nonetheless, this induction furnace will be used uh, for useful and good things. There we go, we'll stick this in here. Da, 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 da. Almost got it. There we go. Industrial blast furnace, yo. Take that. Now where do we put this? We're going to put this thing over here somewhere. Ooh, don't want to stick it uh, like that. Does, does it hook in? It does! Incomplete machine casing. I don't know what that means. Have to figure that out later. First, let's see if it works. Probably won't because it says incomplete machine casing, and also it hates us. Oh. Can't find the ladder. Alright. Do, 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 do. I'm going to take this stuff. Wait, no. That's not what we're going to take. Yes, it is. It's totally what we're going to take. Galena dust. You ever found some Galena? Did you ever just, like, wandering around one day, and you're just like, Oh, look! There's some Galena on the ground. I'll go ahead and grab that. That ever happened to you? I can't, I can't say so. Oh well, it's uh, it's it's basically silver lead sulfide, or well, it's silver. No, it's lead sulfide with some silver mixed in. But there's plenty of both in there, and you can industrial blast furnace it. Unfortunately, we seem to be missing the uh, machine casing. It looks like this is part of a multi-block structure. I'm gonna have to research what the rest of this is made of, since. It doesn't 
Under industrial, it doesn't say. Oh, I wonder if maybe you just blast. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Furnace? Oh, you know what? It might be a boiler. That'd be obnoxious. Automatic e furnace. I don't know. I've seen one of those before. Furnace heater. Mm. Nope. That's not it. Actually, it uses lead, so maybe. It uses a lot of lead. I have no idea what that is. I'll have to come back to that. On to our second thing. We're going to go uh, take a look at Mr. Mr. Blaskowitz over here and see what he's up to. We're going to have to brave the night. Oh, look, some sulfur. Swoosh. Oh, zombie. What are you doing about monsters, Mr. Blaskowitz? Um, well, since I'm sitting on like a four block high thing, I don't think they're really going to get to me. I did have a problem with a spider a minute ago, but I handled it pretty well. Oh, good. Oh, good. Glad to see you're adjusting to life on the server at night. It's a dangerous world out here, kid. We ain't got time to come out for all your troubles. Oh. That's not comforting. Good. It's, uh, it's, it's meant to help you grow up. You gotta get up there fast and... Look, he's got stuff up there. He's doing fine. We'll just, uh, we'll just, just go up this way. Hello, zombie. Oh, 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 zombie, you're coming this way, are you? Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 get lost. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Good zombie. Up, up, this, there's just a little more. Here we go, here we go. What, what is our friend up to up here? My word, it looks quite fantastic. Excellent use of uh, a brick. Oh, oh, our friend got lost. Let's let's help him up. There we are. As you'll see, uh, Blaskowitz fifty three is a very charming pink mare. And that's present number one. There you go. Some zombie flesh and experience. So what is all this? This, this is, is the start of construction, construction to the um, Eye of Sauron. The Eye of... Oh, oh good, the Eye of Sauron. We've, we've needed one of those. I, I thought it'd be quite, quite useful to have a giant, fiery uh, eyeball in your server. Well, uh, you basically can't have a, a legitimate server without one. It doesn't work, it's just... I think it'll be quite the addition. Well, well if we get enough of blonde fireballs, it will be. You mean, you mean like these? Yes. Yes, yes, yes they're, they're, they're quite nice. Swoosh. Fun stuff, sometimes. Although not always. Sometimes you can get the little fire bits to uh, bounce off of things. And they work underwater. Uh, and they don't destroy items. Yeah, yeah we learned they don't work under work underwater about twenty minutes ago. What? No, no, that that's that's what I mean. They they work underwater just fine. Like they don't not work underwater. Yeah, yeah I know. We learned that about twenty minutes ago when you. Uh... But oh oh right when when you wandered straight into the line of fireballs. Sure, we can blame this on me. I, I, I will do so since you wander you wandered straight into the fire. You're like, oh dear, I'm on fire. Let's walk into more fire. That sounds like a good plan. Well, it's because the water was right there. I didn't think it would work in the water. Hmm. 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 There's other water nearby. I think. There wasn't. There was. You just had to go. You just had to take a moment and, and just 
just think about your situation. Yeah, just have to not panic. Look around and you would have seen other bits of water. It was there. Okay. It was. Yeah. yeah. No. That's the way it goes. We'll just put this stuff back and we'll move on to the next part of stuff, which we'll call it. Hmm, I'm a little disappointed about that blast furnace, but the next segment of our show, in today's exciting episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, not that. We're going to make one of these, because I haven't made one, I haven't had a reason to, and now I do. So we're going to make one of these things. And before we do, we'll need a little bit of Nitor, some fire, some light, some potentia. I think all of that stuff is found in coal, so... Well, and torches. And with these little alembics around, we can collect all the random little bits. Let's see, that has fire and potentia. Good. And that has light. Excellent. So, how much? Do, 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 do. Uh, two coal, three torches. Cool. Oh, there. Which, of course, if you're just looking for a light source, isn't really worth it, unless you're looking for a cool light source, as you should be. There we go. Got one of those. Oh, nope, we have to go to the infusion altar and stick this in here. There we go. Uh, that and some brick. We'll put, uh, we'll need the wand. Let's see. Oh! Oh, look at that! I didn't even realize I had this here. Perfect! So, as you can see, my uh, plan of having all these uh, essences in the library has paid off wonderfully as I as they're all sitting right there, ready to go. And we can get the animation core basic. Now we're going to take this, we're going to stick it all on with some great wood logs. And we'll need a few other things, a few other bits here and there, that's okay. But we'll end up with a nice present for our friend Blaskowitz. Where does that name hail from, anyways? Uh, uh Matt's dad. dad. Oh! Well, there you go. That's not terribly informative, though. You can't really ask yeah. me, I have no clue. Oh, okay. He's just like, ah, I'm gonna make Blaskowitz. Oh, oh I just found a, uh, mob, mob spawner. spawner. Oh, really? Do be careful. You'll probably be okay, though. Luckily, I have some soul sand, uh, and that has animus in it. So we can make that. It has other stuff, too, which will get collected over there. Ooh, we better get the vials ready. There we go. All right. Ta-da! Excellent. And we'll uh, grab some of this, some of that. Oh, okay, that's it. Hmm, what do we have? Solemn and Vinculum. I think Solemn is already in our library. Yes, it's right here. Vinculum, though, Vinculum is not in our library, and we're out of library space, I'm pretty sure. I, I just found a portal hole. hole. Um, yeah. That's a thing that is, um, well, yeah, ooh, we need more modus. It creates wisps. Oh, oh geez, get away. away. <laughs> it doesn't, like, create wisps. We're not going constantly. back to that. We're it not going create, back to that. It doesn't create wisps constantly. It's just that it tells you that there's a, an evil node underground somewhere. And so, if you stick around, there is a chance that wisps are going to form in that area. Uh, like They're more likely to form there than they are anywhere else. Uh, but that I'm doesn't mean here. that they will form. It just as a, you know, they might. But later on, I'm probably going to uh, blow it up. Uh, don't do that. I'll come mine it for you if you like. Yeah, yeah you, you can come, come take your... your What? Look, I'm not going back to the wisp thing. That's why you set me on fire, because I was scared of the wisp. 
Hey, I didn't set you on fire because you were afraid of the wisps. Here, let me let me let me find a couple. Let's see here. Let's see that. And what's this one? Nope, that one won't work. Here, I haven't had any reason to use these. I'll I'll bring these over to you. Oh, that should do just fine. And we'll uh this will help you out in your protection against wisps. Hey, eh? oops, wrong thing. There we go. Let's take this. Do, 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 do. Uh, hmm. Doesn't want to do that. Oh, can I? Can I just do that? No. Oh, maybe you just can't do it. Oh well. Oh wait, maybe you can. Can I smell that? Wood? No. Hmm. Sticks? Nope. Oh well. It was a thought. Oh, it probably needs like two of them or something. Yeah. That's why. Okay, well, we'll fix that up. No problem. Got plenty of string. Well, I'm running circles around this thing waiting for you. Uh, that's good. It's an exercise in page. You, sh you should really continue, like, building. Uh, yeah, I'm getting some, I'm really just mining some trees, but I'm near it still. Good. I'm... There we go. I figured we could use one we pulled off a skeleton, but, you know, just doesn't work. Oh, that one won't work. Will this one work? No? Hmm. Try it. Oh, come here, you. I have to find the right book. What's this book? Uh, that's definitely not going to work. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, nope. Alright, we'll do it the old fashioned way. Do, 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 do. Ah, there we go. Perfect. All right, all righty, lad. I find uh, time to test out my magical skills in creating a few extra presents for you. We've already given Blaskowitz some um, some candles. Have you put those to good use? I have. Do they do they look fancy? They look decent enough. Decent enough. Oh well, excellent. Glad to hear they're decent. Oh, you're way over there. Yeah, well, it's only a second, so... You should be passing the totem pole. Oh, no, you're not. Okay. I realized I was a little bit too far right than I thought it was. I know where it is. I'm by this death machine. Oh, it doesn't actually do anything. Although, I don't think my pickaxe at the moment takes it down. I think you need an actual diamond one. Oh, no, this is working. Uh, but I can't be bothered. All right, hold still. Do 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 do. There's that, which is the secondary present, and da 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 da. There you go. Yay! Basically. So stick that little bugger on top of your chest, and then whenever you drop items, he'll run, pick them up, and put them in your chest for you. I think. And in the meantime, we can take down the scary obsidian totem, which is totally not evil at all. He's yeah. lying. I would never do such a thing. Do, 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 do. Although it is obsidian, so it takes like a really obnoxiously long time to mine. However, I will need a way to remember where this was because of the whole node thing. So I'm going to put a marker here.
just so I don't lose track of it. I'm thinking about creating an iron wall of army to protect my Mount Doom. Yeah, good luck with that. You're welcome to do that thing. There you go. And now the uh, totem stuff, like the, as far as I'm aware, I could be wrong about this, but as far as I'm aware, the actual blocks themselves won't spawn any wisps on you. They just are used to mark a place where a dark node is. The dark node is actually what will do the wisp spawning, so yeah, that's still there. Yay. Yeah, well, you know, now you can have some obsidian... Where? Ah, you're getting up side is on the wrong side. <coughs> Anyways, so we'll come give you this stuff, and that way you can have a, a dark evil totem for your uh, Eye of Sauron. I think it's very important to have such such things outside, so that just in case people aren't warded off by the giant eyeball, they can at least be uh, they they can at least come up and go, oh shit, look at this guy, he's got obsidian totem out here, he's a, he's a bad mamma jamma. You better watch out. That's exactly that's exactly how it'll go. Just uh, just so you know. Oh, thank you. You're, you're welcome. So there you go. Some uh, some fun presents. And we got some experience making some crap. Also, before we go, folks, I uh, did a little bit of research on my own. Neener, neener, neener. Take that, you. And uh, we've discovered the Wand of Equal Trade, which basically, let's say you have a bunch of, like, dirt in your inventory, and you really find some cobblestone that you don't like, and you want to turn it into dirt, you can... Bada boom, bada bing with this wand and turn all that stuff into dirt. Actually, it's even better because you can take, I should really make some and show you this, but you can mine obsidian this way very easily by trading it for, like, cobblestone. So that's pretty nifty. And then you just get the stuff in your inventory. But other than that, it's kind of like, meh, of a wand. So I haven't made it yet. Also, it takes instrumentum, and that's not an easy element to come by. Oh, and permutatio. I really want this one. I'll have to come by later. Hmm, that was a purple one. Hmm. What would be the green one? Oh well. I'll come back to that another time. So, until next time, everybody. Thanks for watching. Keep on trotting.